Uh, more news. There is one death by suicide in the U.S. every 12 minutes. One of every five teens will seriously consider attempting suicide. WWT 6 News is partnering with the Kim Foundation to shine a light on the issue of teen suicide. The big message, help is available. Reporter Aaron Murray joins us from one important resource, the Boys Town National Hotline. Aaron. That's right, John and Mallory. Every hour and every day, phones are manned and also for part of the day, computers here too at the Boys Town National Hotline Crisis Center. Our mom's everyday correspondent, Gina Melton, gives us an inside look at the hotline and how it has changed over the years to reach out and help more teens in crisis. Let's talk about that. You mentioned the word suicide. The phones ring all day and night. Have you ever made a natural suicide attempt before? Answered by crisis counselors willing to help. What about getting out in some fresh air today? Navigating teens through tough times. They have one foot in the youth world and they have one foot in a grown-up world and so it can be really confusing. Training supervisor Diana Schmidt tells me counselors here have high empathy and they usually want to help people that are in crisis. They may not know how to help people, but they definitely are drawn to it. And that's the kind of passion that you just can't teach people. So just getting them to talk, getting them to open up a little bit is really our first step. Senior counselor Sarah DePooter says the hotline keeps up to date with how teens communicate. Sometimes a teen just needs to talk and they need to have somebody to listen to them. And by using text, it's kind of a more familiar, more comfortable mode of communication. We certainly started to see a decrease in the number of kids that were reaching out. Um, and that's kind of what brought us to online chat and text. Kids weren't picking up the phone to call us, so we knew we kind of needed to go to where the kids were at, which meant going online. Hotline manager Chris Bazilovac says the center now helps more teens in crisis and gets feedback. One young person said, um, some angels have wings, but my angel used a keyboard today. Let's figure out a little game plan. So when we hang up here today, what are you going to do to work on this situation? Regardless of how teens use the hotline, the message from these counselors remains constant. Anything that provides a little glimpse of hope in a dark day can make all the difference in the world. For WOWT 6 News. We have to take care of ourselves, that's for sure. I'm Gina Melton. Now, Gina discovered that counselors here get an average of 100 calls and texts and chats with young people from across the country. And even though online options for teens don't start until around 4 in the afternoon, there are plans to expand that service in the near future. John and Mallory. So, Aaron, it's great to have the counselors they have and the staff members. Did they have to add more for tonight for the call volume? Actually, they did tell me they did have to add a few more people, and they said roughly about five people. And some of those people aren't coming in into a, until a little bit later, around 6.30 or 7. That's when those call numbers really pick up. But we are actually going to be here for the remainder of the day just to kind of see those calls come in and see what is getting addressed here. So we'll have all of that for 10 o'clock tonight. A very powerful resource. Thank you. That's Aaron Murray reporting live. And if you are considering suicide or any form of self-harm, you can call the Boys Town National Hotline at 800-448-3000. And keep in mind, tonight at 6.30, tune in for a special report, Lifeline for Teen, Teen Suicide Prevention. It's hosted by Mallory Maddox and Brian Mastry. You'll hear stories from survivors and how people in the community are working to prevent teen suicide.